Welcome to episode 5 of Parents on Air featuring the Young Rebels with our host, Charmaine Elgar, and our special guest, Miss Abby Laurel. Miss Nani Laurel de Dios and Mr. Javi Laurel. This is the part one, getting to know the siblings of Pirates on Air. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. What's up, Lysians? Welcome back to another fun and inspiring episode of Pirates on Air. This is Shermiel Nar, your program host, and I'm very happy to be here with you guys again for our fifth episode. So please stay with us up until the end. Dahil alam ko naman, namiss niyo ako. Amin niyo na. Charat. To those people who are watching our live, don't hesitate to comment down below. And of course, share niyo rin itong live natin sa inyong news feed, sa inyong friends, sa inyong group chat, sa mga klase niyo, di ba? Para sama-sama tayo dito. Kakatapos lang ng Holy Week and aside from reconnecting our relationship with and faith with God, alam ko naman na ngayong mahal na araw ay we are also reconnecting our relationship with our families. Di ba? Maraming nag-uwian sa kanilang pamilya, kanilang nilang lugar like province para sa family nila. Kaya naman today, we are lucky para mapaunlakan na makasama for today's episode, a very beautiful family, no other than the Young Laurels. I have here with me the currently Special Projects Officer of LPU Manila under the Communication and Public Affairs Department where she offers unique projects that the university can be proud of. With a bachelor's degree in advertising and public relations, from Universidad de Navarra, she developed her skills and interests in strategic marketing and brand development, particularly in the publication and digital world. No other than Ms. Roberta Beatriz G. Laurel, or fondly called Ms. Abby. Hi, Ms. Abby! Hello! Thank you for having me back in this sh- Show. Thank you, Miss Abby, for the second time. Na paunla kanya po. <laughs> and of course, joining with us is the head of strategic and communications office in LPU Cavite. Together with her team, they find innovative approaches to challenges in marketing, communications, and public affairs. She served as editorial assistant and events editor in Town and Country Magazine, and later joined the Rustans Commercial Corporation as the brand and education manager for the entire beauty department. She holds a bachelor's degree in media and communications from the University of Queensland, Brisbane, Australia. At present, she is enjoying her position and role in LPU Cavite. Let's all welcome the very beautiful Ms. Nani Laurel de Dios. Hello, she. Hello, mga Lyceans. Hi, Ms. Nani. Grabe po look alike kayo talaga ni Ms. Abby. Parehas pretty. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Nani. And of course, completing our lovely guest for today is the Dean of the College of Fine Arts and Design at the Lyceum of the Philippines University, Cavite. Concurrently, he is also the advisor of Tanghalang Laikeon, the premier theater organization of the same university. He holds a bachelor's degree in the humanities from the University of Asia in the Pacific, as well as a Master of Fine Arts degree in Writing and Poetics from Naropa University in Boulder, Colorado, USA. As an amateur artist, his interest in the visual arts, particularly in theater, film, and photography, and his focus in creative writing, specifically in poetry, converged in his doctoral studies research in literature at the La Salle University, Manila. Ladies and gents, we have here Dean Javier Antonio G. Laurel or Dean Javi. Hi, Dean. Hello. Hello po. Grabe. Ang uh, talong alay ko din yung dalawa kong kapatid. <laughs> Yun nga po eh. Naiingit ako. Paano po yung ganyan? Yung ganyan mga mukha. <laughs> Grabe po. No? Parang, parang nung nagpa-ulan si Lord ng... Uh, physical attributes na sobrang gaganda at kagwapo. Sa inyo po napunta, sa pamilya niyo po. Miss Abby, baka po pwede tutuhanin natin yung paampun po ako kahit aso na lang. <laughs> Alright, we'll get the papers going. <laughs> well, it feels nice to be here with you all today po. Thank you so much po for accepting our invitation. I'm very excited po to do this episode with you. Um, I'm very curious po, since ay nga, bukod sa magkakamukha kayo at lahat kayo good-looking. I'm curious po, sabay-sabay po ba kayong lumaki? Yes. 
Oh, yes. So, nung yun pong mga time na bata kayo, ano po yung favorite game ninyo to play together nung mga bata pa kayo? Siguro, let's ask muna, Miss Abby. Um, I think we really like doing like board games, mga board games, um, and card games. Card, yeah, card games also. Card games. Um, we're, I think, yung kind of family kasi that we are, we're very like interactive with games and we're all competitive. So, <laughs> yeah, medyo competitive kami with games. So, board games and card games. I think, also, sometimes yung mga video games, like, you know, nung before may rock band, may dance dance revolution, ganon. So, all of that. I think that's it. Alright. <laughs> yun, yung, yun yung siguro pong matatandaan nyo. Kasi, grabe po, pang matalino pala yung lahat. <laughs> no, bata kayo, very, very pang matalino, card games and all. How about Miss Nan? Ano po yung um, favorite game niyo na natatandaan nyo? Tama. Um, same as Abby. Up to now pa rin, we also like playing board games together, video games, cards. Um, and in the past, we would play nga mga rock band. And ako, I love Dance Revolution. But when we were younger, siguro with our other cousins also, marami kami. Um, we played a lot of like physical games, mga basketball pero saling kit-kit lang yung mga babae. We play horse. <laughs> Kami yung taga ano, kuha ng bola. And then we'd also play um ano ba yun, jab like where we would parang attack people. Parang we would play parang soldiers. So parang caps yeah, tapos... like caps, caps, cops and robbers. <laughs> Cops and robbers. Marco Polo. Yeah. If we Or, were in the pool. I remember murder. Mur- I remember murder. Murder. Yeah, murder. murder. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So actually, so, I think until until now we we play a lot of uh card games and board games. Because uh I I call I I collect card games and board games. I have mga forty and uh, nani. But I think your husband also starting to collect then games. So yeah, and then. Ever since. Si Abby, Abby also has some. So we have a, siguro collectively more than 60 games that we can choose to play. Yeah. 60 or 70, mga ganun. So oh, we still okay. do that until now. Parang si Nena, si Dean Javi po yung maraming memories pagating sa game. Siguro po ko yung pinaka-competitive sa inyo. Pagating uh, sa laro before. Oh! No. no, it's a... No. Uh, Masa so surprise uh, ka yung pinakompetitive niya, no? Si Miss yeah. Abby. <laughs> yung, 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 yung white house. <laughs> yung may white sa background. Nanong nasa niyo po ba maglaro din ng, ano, ng patintero, ganyan? Or yeah. talagang... Yeah, and uh, mm. touch ball. Touch ball, yun nga. Yun nga. Yeah. Eh, how, how about na fierce po ako? Siyempre po, iba yung family niya. Pero... Na-hears po ako. Naranas niyo po maglaro ng text, pogs, jollen, gano'n. Or hindi ako. po. Jollen, um, the boys. Pogs, dati. Pogs. Mag- parang um, magaling si Dean Javi. Girls, siguro mga Jackstone. Jackstone. Um, Chinese Garter. Chinese Garter. Nilaro niyo rin po yun. Chinese Garter. Oh, magaling ate dun si Miss Nani. 10-20. <laughs> 100. <laughs> All right. So, speaking of ano po, memories niyo as a kids. Ano po yung natatandaan niyo na parang funniest memory na meron yung family niyo na hindi niyo talaga makalimutan? Let's start naman po with Din Jan. Um I think our fondest memory is always one of the things we used to do before uh every Christmas is we go up to our uh ancestral house in in Baguio. So, we would stay there mga one week with with everybody. So doon kami naglalaro. Actually, yung mga outdoor games na yung patintero, ganun, or yung yeah. ganun, pati Chinese garter, dun, the, we, we play it there sa Baguio kasi mara, malaking space, tapos malamig, so pag pinawisan, okay lang. Okay, so normally, what my mom and some of my titas, even my my mamita, my grandmother, they would, ano, pag nagpa-fog sa Baguio, um, sasabihin sa amin to get plastic bags 
and to go outside in the garden tapos ikunin yung fog. No, the, po ba talaga? Well, you know, we were young. Siguro pinapagod, pinapagod lang kami but they, <laughs> they made it so real that talaga lahat kami we would go and capture as many plastic bags filled with fog and then we would bring it and then they would put it in the freezer and then they would say oh you sleep na and then we're gonna make cloud cake pagising nyo we have cloud cake siguro i believe that up until i was like a teenager i really thought cloud cake was made out of clouds so it's just funny na it really stuck with me and siguro with my friends nung sinabi ko talaga diba it's made out of one of the ingredients nga is clouds. Natuwa, tawang-tawa sila sa akin because they were like, no, it's made out of egg. So that was a fond memory that stuck with me that I also want to do with my children one day because it was, you know, growing up, it was fun. And um, yeah, we made something together and I believed it to be more than what it actually was. So it was so fun. Para po ano no, yung yung ginawa pong pag-uuto ng parents <laughs> sa inyo dun sa sa pod, parang si yun yeah, na pag-uuto ng ibang parents with Santa Claus na ano na sila nang talaga nagbibigay ng regalo pero kunwari si Santa Claus si nagbigay. Ang cute ng memory na yun. How about yeah. Miss Abby? Ano po until high school ha? Hindi <laughs> wala po kayo hanggang high school. <laughs> hanggang high school, kala ko totoo yun. <laughs> Pero ako okay, yung at least queen yung hindi niya talaga makakalimutan na ginawa ng parents niya sa inyo na pang-uuto. <laughs> How about Miss Abby po? Um, well, my, I have a lot. <laughs> but connected also to, um, in general, traveling with family. Um, like our family, we usually travel. And I guess the funniest or fondest memory that I have is whenever we go abroad, together and it's all there's something always funny talaga as in especially kung um may nakalimutan or may nasabi na funny like for me that's the like the fondest i have but <laughs> <laughs> no it's true actually parang every time we travel we all laugh at our it's it's not bad ha like in a good way it's i know we always laugh at our dad yeah. As in, para siyang sergeant, drill sergeant na para Nakalangan. do, 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 always. And oh. then we always make fun of him every time. Hello? Oh, 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 pala si Atory Bobby. Lagi na pagtitripa ng mga anak. Oh, talaga siya. <laughs> Sabi niya, let's all meet in the lobby at 9.14. Parang kami, bakit 14? Bakit hindi 13? Oh, parang <laughs> That was when we see a banyo. Oh, banyo, banyo. Do you have to go to the banyo? The John? The John. <laughs> so, oh, you know, so specific words because like our, my, our dad or our mom or even any of us we say na nakakatawa during when we travel. So, for me, those are the funniest memories that, that I have. Oh, kid. Ang kid lang po na kanya-kanya. Iba-iba kayo yung sinasabi memories. No connected yung, no connected po si Diba Traveling, tapos Baguio, same with Din Javi po. Pero po, speaking of traveling din, ano po yung ginagawa niyo na sa family kapag may day off kayo? Like, di ba po sabi, nag-play pa rin kayo, together, nag-travel. Ano po yung kinakang love niyo yung ginagawa niyo kapag day off na? As a family? Yes, pa as a family. Kumakain. <laughs> Actually, the true like, like, It's always with food. There's yeah. always some sort of food, snacks or meal or something. Yeah, it's it's actually very simple. Parang we just all wanna make up parang plans to hang out, and then there will be food, and then um games, Kika. and then bahala na whoever wants to go home na. And then usually we have another younger brother. Siya walang hiya yun. Kakanta lang yun. Gusto ko po yung term na walang hiya yun. Wala. No one asked him to. Tapos sasayaw na rin. Tapos tas, uh, he'll ask you to video him. So parang naging ano. Parang naging concert niya. 
<laughs> Actually po, di ba, usually kapag may mga ganyang ganap sa bahay, sa get-together with your family, kayo po yung magkukusa na, ano, na mag-video. Natu- natawa ako dun sa siya pa yung mag-uut sa videohan niya siya. Yeah, tapos hindi pa siya, you'll show him the video. He's not okay with it. So may take two, <laughs> may take three, and He's then after. Him. <laughs> yeah, but they're singing, games, food. Um, when it's the simple, the simple stuff lang. Usually, yeah. kasi what we do with the food is if someone, let's say, Miss Nani finds a a, a nice um, place to eat or in parang sa Instagram yung mga order, tas gusto niya, she will she will say, oh guys, try natin to, masarap. Tapos sa next gathering, yun yung order namin. Yeah. Yun yung, ano. So you try, so you get to try different ano, um, different food and to support like all these local um businesses then. Wow. Iba talaga ang pamilya lang. Wala talaga gusto talaga mag-pound. Hindi, joke lang mo. Hindi kasi po, di ba? Wala lang. Sobrang ganda lang ng relationship that you guys have with each other, especially sa Paris. You know, hindi, ako, hindi ko makalimutan yung pang-aasal niyo po kay Attorney Bobby. Yung ginagawa niyo pag Hindi ko makalimutan. Ngayon naman, binubuli niyo po yung younger brother niyo. Hindi, joke lang mo. Hindi, ang cute lang po tinan. Pero speaking of Attorney Bobby rin. So, Ano po, syempre po, may kanya-kanya kayong roles sa different university, LPU Manila, then LPU Cavite. Ano po yung one thing that your parents advise you on your first day of work sa university mismo? Let's start po na with Miss Abby. Well, the one thing I think that they advise, especially um, Attorney Bobby, was to be as involved with the team I'm working with as possible just so na I also learn from them and observe what they're doing um parang to always be parang present sa mga ginagawa nila so for me that's also important kasi it's important for me to have a relationship in with the people I'm working and for them also to see na okay hindi lang ako anak ng president or hindi lang you know I'm also involved with the the work with of the university so good for me yun yung number one advice that was given to me i super agree alam niyo po ba na sa mga nanonood sa atin aside from being pretty his is abby his yung sinasabi niya pong ano relationship na create niya with the people she works with true po yun kasi super nice niya talaga super humble and even <laughs> <laughs> Toko din maging ganoon. <laughs> How about Miss Nanny po? Um, my parents and especially RPL, he's always naman um told me, you know, with whatever that you do, um make sure that, you know, I just want you to be happy. Um so that means a lot because, you know, the the pressure, I think he tries to he doesn't put too much pressure. He just there's a lot of support. Um, there. And then when I started with um, LPU Cavite, he told me the same thing na yun nga, as much as possible try to, you know, get to know everyone, um, be around them a lot, which I appreciate kasi, you know, especially now when, now that I'm with CPAD, talagang I really feel uh, my teammates, my co-workers, um, we're all equal. And I enjoy talaga their company. We all eat together. We all have a Viber group and we're always texting kahit if it's not about work, you know. So we keep in touch. And I appreciate that because I get to know them more than just in a work environment level. And there's more respect and more support as a team. Wow, that's really nice po. Parang same din po with this Abby, no? More like getting to know each other with your uh, co-employees. Sobrang nakakataba ng puso. Like, hindi nila kayo makikita na parang, oh my God, sino yung anak ni Atty. Bobby? But nakikita nila kayo as someone that they can work with, they can connect with. Yeah. Ba talaga? Nasa inyo na po yung buka. Nasa inyo pa yung personality. <laughs> Pero, ayun po. Um, thank you, Miss Nanny. How about Dean Javi? Uh, yung advice sa akin ay um, when pag tinatamad ka magtrabaho wag na joke lang <laughs> no no no, no. pwede um, pa na po yun <laughs> no no uh, his 
his advice to me was ano kung if you do your work you do your work well kasi you're there to do sa a job and it also since you are uh, you have a name to carry pag if someone sees that you're not doing your work well iisipin lang nila nandiyan lang yan kasi ano anak ng may-ari or anak ng ganyan so you have to do your work well to show them na kahit ako yung may anak na may, uh, kahit I'm the, the child of the owner I'm still here to do my job and I have to do it well and that also goes with um connecting with your team because without them you will have a hard time um excelling at your um job so that was his advice to me wow oh, thank you din Javi actually po lahat po kayo ginagawa niyo ba ayos talaga yung job niyo and super deserve din po like oh my god gusto ko paano po maging part din ng ano ng ng SIPA na para po mag-apply na ako agad hindi pa ako nakagraduate so ano ano po may opening yan JR di ba pero <laughs> ano po that's really nice I think it's really important na walang binibigay din po na pressure yung parents nyo. Kahit may mga pressure na binibigay yung tao sa paligid nyo dahil anak kayo na may ari ng university na pinagtatrabuhan nyo. Pero pinaghirapan nyo po lahat. So, sana all talaga, ano, ganyan po na. Maliban sa, maliban sa meron na kayo ng physical attribute, meron kayong personality, tapos very hardworking people pa po kayo. Ay, pag-aaralan ko na po yun ngayon. <laughs> <laughs> Paano maging ganyan? So, speaking of pressure po kanina, meron po ba kayong pressure na na-feel for being the next in line? Kasi po tinatawag ko yung Young Laurels, di ba? So, you guys are the next in line who run the family business kasi kayo na yung new or the young generation of Laurels. So, may pressure po ba? Um, let's start with, ano naman, Dean Javi. Um, oh, naman, of course, there's pressure. Pero, like what they say nga, kanyari sa sports, so, Pressure is good kasi and pag ninenervyos ka that means it means something for you. Pag hindi ka ninenervyos ibig sabihin wala ka pa kay alam. <laughs> diba? So it, it, there is pressure there is um that 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 uh will to improve kung anong binigay. So that's why we are all here working hard para to learn kung ano yung pwedeng i- i-improve para sa ano para sa school. Hindi lang para sa family pero it's for the school talaga. Yes, naman. So, ano po, ano, yung magandang effect ng pressure yung ano, yung nakikita nyo. How about Miss Nani? Um, the same. I think there's always going to be pressure. Um, in this case, of course, you know, there's a certain expectation. Um, especially because we carry the name and there's that certain expectation that people have. Um, but, you know, like what my brother Dean Javi said, na, there's always going to be pressure, but I think on the other end of the spectrum, we all we have so much support. Mm-hmm. So kahit, na, ta, kahit, you know, at times I feel pressured, I also know at the end of the day, you know, I have my family and um, LPU that mm-hmm. support me. So in a way, it's still... It's it's healthy pressure from the way I see it. So it's okay to have that. Yes po. So, sabi niyo po, like, there will always be pressure for carrying the name. So pag napagod na po kayo sa pressure, itabi niyo po, ako na. <laughs> Gusto nila magiging laman. <laughs> Nadyo ko lang po. I really love that, Miss Nanny. How about Miss Ad? No, I agree. I agree with um my siblings. Um like what they mentioned, there will always be pressure. But I think the pressure that we feel is more on, you know, try to do your, like, do your best to your ability so that the work will, you know, the work will shine through to um, who we're working for, which are the students, our stakeholders. So that's the kind of pressure I think that we are feeling that um, do your best and we will support you to do your best. So... Those, those are, that's, I agree with both of them. Uh, actually, I agree with you, Miss Abby. Saka at, at the same time po, I think you won't be there po if it isn't for you and if you cannot do it. So, you are there for a specific reason and, ayun nga po, for LPU, para sa mga Lysians natin. So, I really love this family, ah. So, ayun po, if there's one thing naman po na makes your family unique of all, Ano yung one feature na yun? Let's start with Miss Nani. Okay. Um, 
I think, you know, uh, we're a big family and we're all very close. Um, we're all very, very close. Um, and we all are, you know, hindi kami, actually, when I come to think of it, hindi kami nag-aaway. Um, wow. But I think the good thing is, although we're all very close, what makes us unique is we also know how to respect each other's personal space, personal um, privacy. Like, we don't, we just support. So, kumiyare, you know, if one of us gets into, let's just say, uh, showbiz, um, which is completely different from education, none of us will be like, no, you shouldn't do that. That's, you know, you, 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 you're supposed to follow suit, um, like the family. We'd all just be like, go, enjoy. And then it, it will all just support. No one really puts anyone or anyone else's interests down from, you know, when I, when I think about it, including my cousins, no one really has anything bad to say. We all just have that support, but also that respect na, although we're close, we also have our own personal boundaries that we respect. And I think that's, that's something that is, um, that we have for everyone. Yeah, I think that's it. Ang saya siguro po nun, na walang away. Siguro, parang ano po, normal naman siya po yung away sa family, sa kapatid, sa pinsan. Yung mga, ano, petty away lang. Yung mga ganun. Pero, ang cute po na parang, napansin ko nga po, parang, parang never sila nag-away. Kasi, ang lagi nilang sagot, I agree with them. Walang, I disagree with you. Di ba, pag magkakapatid, usually, nag-away yan, di sila nagkakasundo talaga. Pero, kitang-kita po sa inyo. I really love na, parang proud po kayo na sinasabi na you are guy you guys are supportive with each other and you guys are blessed to have that kind of family na very supportive na walang pressure na binibigay ang parents and yung mga siblings with each other ang nare-receive niya support lang talaga and talaga ko sabi kanina ni Miss Nani po na kumili masaya ka for that yung happiness like happiness talaga dapat yung maging focus ng ginagawa niya i love that so how about Miss Abby ano po yung I think nakita we became like this kasi yung mga kapatid ng the siblings of my dad, all of them are the same way. They're very, uh, they all get along but at the same time, kanya-kanya din yung mga ginagawa nila and there's the support and I think we grew up seeing that and so it just became natural to also be that way for each other. Yeah, that's all. So, talaga pong support it as equal. Ang pagiging competitive lang po talaga ay nung bata, yung mga laro-laro. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Natatawa po masyado si Miss Abby kasi siya yung pinaka-competitive sa laro eh. Hindi <laughs> oh, talaga. Tawag sa kanya hustler eh. <laughs> <laughs> How about Miss Abby po? Ano po yung, sa palagay niya, yung unique na feature ng family ninyo? Well, similar to what what Miss Nani said, <laughs> so support the land. <laughs> Agree to that. Um, I think one of the one of the f- good features of our family is that we all have like although you know sometimes we disagree on certain things, we all kind of have like um this mindset na whatever we say, parang may one goal for a situation or to solve something, um, but we do it in our own way. So we all work together to um, complete something or to fix a problem. And we don't really involve like yung mga outsider. So everything is really like kame kame lang. So, and I think that's, that's, a good, that's a good thing to have, especially in a family business. Kasi we don't want naman, you know, kung sino sino lang to be involved, right? So that's what I like also about, you know, our family. Like, we're very into what each other says and we respect what each other says. Yes. Very, respect was very important talaga sa family to maintain yung maayos, di ba, na relationship with each other. I love that. How about Dean Javi po? 
uh, unique. Um, lahat kami hindi magaling sa math. <laughs> well, and it's true. They will, they will support me with that with that statement. Wala, no? totoo po ba? Parang hindi maniniwala yung mga wala, ano, nanonood po sa atin. Kami, mahina ang mga laurel sa math. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I think what, what, what is good with our family is um, we are all, we all are, are unique. We all are, have our different interests. Pero we have same some same interests but we are all different. Kunyari, like me, I, I really went sa arts talaga and then my sister, my two sisters here went to the advertising communication side and then Our other brother naman's hospitality. So iba-iba talaga yung hilig namin. But like what both of my uh, what my sisters have been saying, parang kahit iba-iba, it works together kasi we have different areas na pwedeng um, to look at something. Na oh, I see from it itong pananaw, this ibang pananaw naman, pero it's it goes to the same goal. So that's I think something unique with our family. Hindi parang same lang kami lahat. It's different pero we're going to the same place. Parang ganun. Yes naman. Siguro ay really love po na super nakikita ko po sa inyo na tinitreasure niyo talaga yung isa't isa na you see each other as a precious thing na sibling. Ganun po. Medyo. <laughs> yung family is very important. I think po every family is unique naman. Like, kanya-kanyang family, meron tayong talagang iniisip na we are different from others. Pero I think what's important is kahit gaano, ano pang meron yung family nyo, there will always be love. And yun nga po, sabi niyo po, respect talaga. Kasi para maging maayos lang yung relationship with our family, syempre tayo-tayo na lang din po, di ba? So, dapat love natin ang isa't isa. Sige po, alright, erase na po natin in 3, 2, 1, go! Lahat! Lahat! Lahat na lang.